Hi, I'm Kent Tilly. This is my good friend Jason Pess, and we are Studio 1106. Uh, we both like doing basic projects at home, but also know it can get expensive. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to show you how to do as many projects as we can with as little tools as we can. So today we did a bench using just a skill saw, a drill, speed square, and a pencil. Yeah, and a little bit of ingenuity, and and we we both love DIY construction projects, and and Jason's still a professional carpenter, and I used to be, and and so what we're gonna do is try and make it as easy to understand as possible. By I'm gonna edit the videos and and try and make it so you guys can follow along, understand what you need to buy, the things you need to do to be able to make these things because. Uh, we we love it. We think it's a ton of fun. We're gonna have fun doing it. And uh, so, what did we build, right? Uh, first project was just a basic workbench. Any DIY carpenter or any professional carpenter in their garage or their shop needs to have a good workbench. So we just built one that we thought was suitable for the size of our workspace. And worst case scenario, I got a workbench out of you making it for me so <laughs> it kind of works out for me uh yeah so we're going to try and put out videos every single week just projects we know a lot of people do and and that we've done in our own homes just using basic tools so please subscribe to our channel and uh and we'd love to hear from you and and give us your ideas if you want to know how to build something because We'd, we'd love to build it for you and we look forward to hearing from you and building some more in the future. Yeah, Let's awesome. get at it. Yeah, thank you. You see how that curves to the left? You just don't want that. Tonight we're going to make a workbench and the top of the workbench we're going to make it to the top of this table saw. The table saw is 35 inches in height. So if you're going to cut your posts, you're not going to cut them at 35 inches. You're going to take off whatever material you're going to put on the top. We're going to put an inch and a half and three eighths on the top. So we got to subtract an inch and seven eighths from 35 inches. That brings us to 33 and an eighth. And you're going to cut your four legs at 33 and an eighth. be six feet long so just like the top of the bench we're gonna have to take off the inch and a half for both sides of our 2x4 so right now if we cut our 2x4 six feet and then we put our 2x4 outside collar on we'd have six foot three so we want to take off that inch and a half on both sides which brings us to five foot nine two by sixes for the top of our table. We've determined earlier that the length of the table is going to be six feet. So I'm going to cut five of these at six feet. The reason I'm going to cut five is because we thought that five was a good fit for this space. You don't have to go five, you can go three, you can go six, you can go whatever you want, but five two by sixes equals 27 and a half inches. So that's going to be the total width of our bench. I'll show you on the ground after I cut these.
All right, so this will be the top of our table. There you see it's 27 and a half inches. And again, you can make it whatever width you want. Probably best to stay inside four feet. A sheet is four by eight. All right, we're now gonna cut the collars for the width of the table. <clears throat> we already determined that the table is gonna be six feet in length and 27 and a half inches in width. So I'm gonna cut this collar 27 and a half inches. Do you wanna zoom in here? Yeah. When I'm making my marks to cut, I always put a little tick on the side I want my saw blade. So after I square it, I know I'm gonna run my saw on the left side of the tick. Why is that? Start cutting on the opposite side of the ticks and your table will start shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if I didn't cut on that side of the tick, I'd have 27 and 3 eighths. All it took was 17 cuts to get the material we needed to build our workbench. Now we're gonna start assembling it. All right, now we're gonna start assembling the collar. This is actually the top of the bench, but I'm gonna screw it together because I got a nice flat surface here and it, it allows me to be able to do this by myself and not having someone hold it up 35 inches above the ground. We chose a number 12 screw. The higher the number, the stronger the screw. Some people might use lag bolts, some people might use deck screws. We just went with a beefier screw. Saves on cost as well. Yeah. If you screw too close to the outside, you're gonna crack your material. All right, we've done our side rails. Now we're gonna put our end rails on. This 27 and a half inch by inch and a half, this inch and a half is gonna make up the remainder of our six feet. We cut the sides to five foot nine. Inch and a half on both sides gives us six feet. All right, so now we have our six foot wide, six foot long table by 27 and a half wide. We decided to add a couple stiffeners here for the posts. And we know our table is six feet long so we're gonna add one in the middle as well. I cut these at 24 and a half. Right now you got a 27 and a half table. Take away an inch and a half on both sides. 24 and a half in the middle. I'm gonna put one at three feet as well. Come back three quarters of an inch. Two by four is an inch and a half. I always come back three quarters, so your three feet lands right in the center. All right, so when I mark center, I know three feet is center. Width of a two by four is an inch and a half. So I come back three quarters. Makes the center of my two by four at three feet. All right, we've got the top done. We've decided we're gonna put a shelf on the bottom. So we're gonna come up 10 inches. Remember, this is the bottom. We're gonna come up 10 inches, do this exact same thing. And that's where we're gonna store our tools. All right, so now we have the frame built for our bench. Uh, like I said, we did the same thing at the bottom that we did at the top. The only difference being is I brought these pieces here that were used to lock in the posts. I slid them into the middle to support our piece of plywood. Kind of acts like a floor. So if I flip this over, plywood here and our 2x6 is here. All right, so now we're going to start the top. Now I know that the bench is six feet long by 27 and a half. So we're going to start at one end, start screwing our 
or tops. All you need is a deck screw for this. You don't need the heavy duty number 12. All right, so we have our bench just about complete. We could leave it like this, save some cost. Just put some two by six in the bottom if you wanted to, but we decided we're gonna add some plywood to the top. Just helps with the finish and, uh, and it looks better. Uh, so we're now gonna cut a sheet to fit the exact top here. And we're gonna cut a sheet to fit the bottom, which means we're gonna have to notch out our posts. All right. So we know our table is 27 and a half wide. So we got a chalk line 27 and a half wide and we know it's six feet in length. exact dimension of the top of the table. Um, obviously you try to choose the better side up if you're going to go with the plywood route. Uh, now we're just going to screw it down. All right, we've cut a second sheet that's six feet by 27 and a half, just like the top. The only difference being on this sheet is, if you want to zoom in here, we got to notch out our posts and our collars. So we got five inches by five inches. So if you come up here, I like to go, if we go five and an eighth, that way we're not jamming it in there. And all you're gonna do is take that out four times. We got our top plywood, our bottom plywood, ran into a bit of an issue. We had a puzzle we couldn't solve, so we had to cut the plywood on one of our joists. So all we did was come in two feet, cut it, and we screwed it down. Uh, we've decided to put on one more collar. It's just gonna hide the layered wood there. Uh, so we're gonna cut these guys at six feet, and then we're kind of cut the end guys at 27 and a half. And I'll see you when it's done.